for a long time, I was very angry and sad the fact that they kept just using me. People who I used to call my friends using me for um, for content and things like that. If you're watching this on a hate channel, hello. <laughs> Doesn't matter, does it? Honestly, wasn't expecting to make a video about Miniland, but here it is. This stream is from about a week ago, and he talks about the Vanoss crew, his old friends, hate channels, and a lot more than that. We're going to be talking about all that today, but first, disclaimer, two of them actually. One, I don't condone any hate that comes from this video at all. I'm not trying to send people to go hate on Miniland. Honestly, just reviewing, reacting, and sharing my own opinion. Second, I am reacting to this. There's a bunch of cut-up clips I have of it, but the entire entire section of this live stream where he talks about all of it, I will review in full in a live stream here shortly, probably tomorrow night, Friday night, Central Standard Time, I will be talking about it in a live stream where I can react to the whole section, but these are just some clips from that. But regardless, let's jump right into it. And the first section is right here. He pretty much just goes on a rant from reacting to some clip. He is always reacting to clips during his streams. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, 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 has been, this has been a whole rant. This has been a whole thing. And he begins to go on a rant and talk about all this for some reason. Someone didn't ask him a specific question about any of this. He just decided to bring this up and put this on the internet. And every, this is like literally why I sold my car and I ran to the gym every day. This is just the first proof in this video showing that Minilad does have money and that Minilad is not broke. Why is this important? Well, there's this idea that Minilad is just trying to make a living. And since he's demonetized, he must be broke and trying to gain a bunch of money. No, he just really likes doing YouTube. He gets plenty of donos and he probably has a huge savings account because proof number one, he sold his Ferrari long time ago and collected money back from that. Instead of being like, why me? And kind of victimizing yourself. You just, you have to go. Either, dude, for, for me and what happened to me, either I could have fucking crumbled, which admittedly I did for a long time. Either you can sit there and you can crumble and you can say, why me? Or you, or you can get the up and go. I set my alarm for 5 a.m. Admittedly, that was a bit extreme. I knew that the first step with becoming the person who I always wanted to be was to work on my body dysmorphia. Here, Mini Lad is trying to sit here and say that he's not playing a victim. He's not having a victim mentality about this. And while it might not be him playing the victim, it is definitely garnishing sympathy and kudos that he kept going and he fought back and he, he got himself back up and kept going and stuff like that. Granted, all the stuff that's happened to him. So while it might not be him playing the victim, it is definitely sympathy baiting. At least that's how I view it. Which is true. We get so absorbed into all the hate and all that. We forget how to just be people. So Goggins for me was the example of, he was at nothing too. He was at rock bottom too. Did I handle my situation badly? Yeah, I did. I, I, it's not something to hide. I'm very aware of it because I panicked and I thought it was, uh, it was, it was done. That was it. Everything I worked my entire life was gone. It took a long time to bounce back from that. Again, to me, it seems more like, ooh, pity me, sympathy baiting to me. But the important part here is in the beginning of this clip. He says that everyone gets absorbed into the hate or whatever. I don't really count it as hate. I mean, if people want to be like uber critical of you, they have every right to do so. You made really piss poor apology videos and then took them down. Somebody donated to you and clearly sat here and called you out on stuff and you proceeded to lie and say get your facts straight as if that dono wasn't getting the facts straight. Uh, yeah, and that was just stuff that's happened recently. We're not actually talking about the allegations against you, the stuff that you've admitted, the text messages that are leaked about you. We're not even talking about that stuff yet. How do you, how do you get through all, like, the hate videos and all your, all your old friends hating you? And how do you get through that? I do because I finally became happy with the person that I was. I could have been the guy where I could have joined back. They talked shit about me. I could continue to talk back i'm happy with who i am they've made their decision that they didn't want to be friends with me anymore that's fine that's their choice they have the right to do so so with that we went our separate ways and i just kept on keeping on keeping on i don't really count it as hate videos he says that his friends were talking crap about him as if the vanos crew making references to mini lad is talking crap which certainly you can see it that way but it isn't like mini lad wasn't doing it back when he was a big youtuber and he was doing it i know right now he's super like self person and finding your true self he's all about this not so much conspiracy theories but about self-healing and mental preservation and he's talking about all this making yourself feel better and he's so uber positive 
competitive right now. But back then, Miniland was just like every other YouTuber talking crap about other people. Which, by the way, is he does not mention at all in this entire section. He doesn't talk about that he was one of the people in the Vanoss crew who were also participating in talking crap about other people. And what I mean by talking crap is the same thing that the Vanoss crew is doing now about Minilad. They're more referencing it than talking crap. And when it gets brought up, a lot of them don't want to talk about it, but some of them crack jokes about it. Again, Minilad would be the type of person to go to a comedy show and say that person's talking crap about this set of people that they're talking about, even though it's just joke and you can't really take the joke. To be perfectly honest with you, I am so proud of the person I am today. Do you want to know why? For 10 years, over 10 years, I became mini lad i became him and what i mean by that is i didn't know who craig was anymore this is me just being real and i could definitely see that clip going around a lot and being joked about he became mini lad he didn't know who craig was he became mini lad almost seems like a pablo moment but again he tries to throw blame that him becoming mini lad which is still him by the way don't get it confused I would hate for people to watch this clip or watch this section or hear his words here and think that there's a difference between Mini Lad and Craig. He was Mini Lad since he began that channel to this day. He's still going under the Mini Lad name. If he were to be called a reference Mini Lad, he would think it's him. But now he's trying to separate him, saying that the workhorse Mini Lad, he's flawed. The actual person, Craig Thompson, he just found himself. He's all good. But they're still the exact same person. Don't get that confused at all. I didn't know who Craig was anymore. I became a content creation machine. And all I focused on was just trying to grow my business. It's not the only thing you focused on. You also focused on talking to minors and having really weird conversations with minors and then threatening them if they ever came out about this information. And I realized along the way that I made decisions that, of course I regret, but I didn't know who the f I was. Does that excuse it? Of course it doesn't. Here's something crazy. So, interesting here. Yeah, he sits here and says that, yeah, I made mistakes, but I didn't know who I was then. So people are like, well, that's not an excuse. And he does point out that it's not an excuse. But then we were supposed to hear a follow-up. And he moves on to, you want to hear something crazy? Of course I regret, but I didn't know who the fuck I was. Does that excuse it? Of course it doesn't. Here's something crazy. And he moves on to something else. But why not continue down that path? People want Miniland to actually explain himself like even to this day he never fully explained his actions why he did what he did and truly apologize and show remorse about that situation and right when he's about to say it like hey i was a different person then that doesn't excuse it but then he just moves on to something else i think it took me being completely ripped out of everything to finally understand what it was to be a person in society he talks about being ripped out of everything. Yeah, when PEDOs typically perform the acts that they do, they get arrested. Being ripped out of their normal life. They get ripped out of their normal life. They don't go to work no more. They don't get to see their family. They don't get to see their girlfriend. They don't get to enjoy the freedoms of our country no more because you are a PEDO. That's why they get arrested. And he just says, well, I had to be ripped out of everything to realize who I truly was. Yeah, it's called going to prison and having a lot of time of self-reflection for the crimes you committed but in many lads situation he didn't go to prison he just got canceled online decided to move back to ireland and then decided to come back to youtube and it's not going so well i was making more money than i could possibly imagine but i was also the most miserable Proof number two, that Minilad had plenty of money and probably still does have plenty of money and he is not broke. I was making, I don't care telling you this anymore, I was making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. Hundreds of thousands of dollars a month over the course of several years. Yeah, he still has money to this day. He is not broke. People are going to hate me no matter what I do. I've learned to accept that. I could say, hey guys, how's it going? And there will be people out there who will find a way to shit on it. So at this point, does it really matter? Will people make videos on what I'm saying right now? Probably. Do I care? I used to. A lot. So he says he used to care a lot. Um, just my own personal opinion. I don't have 
like any reason why to believe this, but just going in the air and guessing right now, I think he still does care, but it is kind of weird that he has this weird, like breaking the fourth wall sort of thing. Cause he's been really good at not addressing anything that's being put out there. A lot of my videos that blown up and a lot of people who flocked over to his channel to maybe hit a dislike button because of the things that I shown or talked about in my videos, which again, I don't condone any hate going towards anyone, but it is weird to see him break that fourth wall and say that people are going to make videos and hate me no matter what I say, because now he's kind of talking about it a bit more than what he normally did. Don't know why this is the case. I sent all the people that I used to be friends with a text message, basically literally just saying, hey, times have changed. I hope you're good. I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you for the memories. Keep on keeping on. That's what I said. I sent the text. Whether they replied or whether they didn't, doesn't matter. I closed the book. So he finally talks about this. We did hear from Nogla and Hallie both. Nogla talked about it in a video. Bit of a secret, guys. He texted me recently. That's right. The man, the myth, the lad. It was actually a nice text. It was actually a nice text. I texted him back after a while. And I was nice. But I was like, bro, you know, it is what it is, bro. You know, hope life goes well, family's well. I texted him back. And then at the end of the text, P.S., Oh, taking no. the meme stream. <laughs> oh, no. I already know what he's talking about. Oh, for fuck's sake, bro. It was nice to I leave bro. for a second, man. I just said, hey, bro, hope you're well. Hope family's well. Taking the meme stream and Talk I hope you, you deleted Snapchat. <laughs> like, that's it, dude. It was nice, simple text. Sol Sol <laughs> nice, right, and Hallie addressed it in the comment section of a video, talking about how, yes, Minilad reached out and everything like that. And as Nogla was nice back to Minilad, Nogla kind of threw a little bit of jab saying thanks for the meme streams. And yeah, he did send these text messages out. Don't know how many people replied. Don't know what the conversation was like. But Minilad is finally addressing that. And again, I think it is, again, the noble way he's trying to go out about this. Is YouTube sustainable anymore? No. I think that's pretty obvious. Very obvious. Minilad is aware that he is demonetized. Sometimes I forget that I'm 28. Did you forget your age when you were talking to those girls? Am I look and don't get don't get it wrong. Don't try and twist this. Am I happy what happened? No. I think that should go without saying. But am I happy with the person that I am? Yes. Many lad trying to find positivity out of something horrendous that he did. So as much as I've known for a long time that this will never come back, it scared me and it took me it took me until now to, not this second, but it took me like recently until I was able to fully accept it and be able to be able to move on. He said it took up until recently. So when he came back to his mini lad channel, when he was doing the whole robbery thing, he probably was struggling because he thought he could just come back and make videos and everything would be back to normal still. Again, just shows you the mindset of this guy to think that, yes, I can come back after him doing such a horrendous thing that he could possibly do not once not twice but multiple times multiple different things that he just shouldn't have been doing and he thought just up until recently he could still come back and do youtube people can say what they say it used to bother me i'm mad it took a long fucking time but i'm happy it doesn't anymore because i realized that this isn't my path anymore i was so focused on just trying to make me come back and be a youtuber that now i'm like i kind of like being craig Okay, so again, it's all about him finding himself. He was mini lad, and now you finally found who Craig was. Such a noble spiritual journey you took, I guess. Everyone makes mistakes. Are you kidding? Everyone. I wish mine didn't affect other people. That sucked. And that's something that I think I will struggle to deal with for the rest of time. Mini Lad's aware of what he did. Why don't you go full out and say what it is in front of the, your little new community? He has a new community of a couple hundred people who still go like his videos, who donate to him, who go in the chat and talk to him and suck him off constantly. New people who are just simping for Mini Lad. And this new community, why don't you just flat out say what you did? Because I'm sure some of them have no idea what you did. But no, he's always going to refer it to as the thing he did, the mistake he made. But at the same time, you address 
just a donation saying get your facts straight when someone called you out about this. That's you hinting at that you never did that. You took down your apology videos and every single video you've talked about that situation. So how are people now supposed to know besides going to a third party YouTube channel such as myself to get that information? And here's something that like, legitimately honest and like I'm not even just saying this because like what the f do I have to lie for anymore, right? I'm not saying I ever left. You know what the Oh, Minilad has lied before. There is proof. Plenty of proof on my channel. Minilad straight out came out and lied. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's still a liar to this day. Even though the people who I used to call my friends, can t I think there, there's videos being like, Vanos crew making fun of Minilad for an hour I straight know, and things like that. But I know that like the guys have used me for content i've been they've made me ugly in thumbnails i've been in titles oh we can't talk about him anymore well at least i didn't like i've seen it all I've seen it all right Shit hurts but even after all that i i wish they're all right i hope i'm well i really do mini lad said that that stuff still hurts that the crew is making references and jokes and thumbnails about the comments he's made before the past which were dumb comments and up for criticism all the way but the vanos crew comedians they're going to find these jokes and even if they're a little edgy or if they hurt your feelings it's so easy to flip around and say that someone's feelings were hurt but he wishes the van us crew well he's trying to turn it back into yet again another positive thing he's uber positive now while still addressing it and kind of throwing the crew under the bus by saying yeah they're doing all this bad stuff but i just wish them the best don't you see that some people in his community could sit here and be like wow the van us crew are bad guys now when not so much the case, they have every right to joke about you and make jokes about that. Just like how you have the opportunity and the freedom to do that as well. For a long time, I was very angry and sad. The fact that they kept just using me. People who I used to call my friends using me for um, for content and things like that. And it, it, it just took me a while of like sitting down, understanding, figuring it out, growing from it and, and learning, right? From the bottom of my heart, I do wish them well. Here Mini Lad goes again saying that the Vanosh crew uses him for jokes and references and all this other sort of thing. They're comedians, they're gonna make that joke. If you don't like it, people can comment and criticize that. But you're saying that they're using you for views? They don't talk about you that much at all. You can maybe go after Nogal and Terrorizer for pretty much just doing the whole meme stream thing you used to do, but that's not your thing. People do meme streams all the time. Other content creators do meme streams. One, I don't understand the using mentality. Even if they are, they're comedians, they make jokes, they do this sort of thing. It's not that big of a deal. And I know many lads trying to sit here and turn it back into a positive thing yet again. But again, you're making them seem bad for the things that they're doing for YouTube and content creation when you used to do it. But then also trying to be uber positive to seem like the good guy in all of this. When many lad is, should be far from the good guy in any sort of situation that pertains to his allegations and how he dealt with the Vanos crew and departing from that and not getting along with some of them. If you're watching this on a hate channel, hello. <laughs> Doesn't matter, does it? Mini lad breaking the fourth wall yet again. How does that feel, guys? He just said hello to all of you guys. There's no point me trying to hide behind anything else. It's like, let's just have an open, honest, candid conversation. Right? And that's the last clip I'm gonna show. Mini Lad sits here and says, let's have an open conversation. Well, Mini Lad, this is my invite. Come have an open conversation with me. I would really love to have an open conversation with you. I'd really like you to be able to address many of the things that you decide to say, get your facts straight when people donate you and ask you those things. When people want to see the original videos of you trying to apologize and make a good apology video. And it doesn't really work out that well. You took those down. The original videos of you first coming back after the allegations first came out and you were playing Minecraft and reacting to memes and stuff. There's stuff in there that people want to see, but yet again, you took those things down. Many of the things that you didn't fully address or fully talk about or even slightly mentioned before, the things that people are critical of you. That is the conversation a lot of us want you to have. Why you're sitting here trying to make the Van Oss crew seem like bad guys in this entire thing. That's what we want you to talk about. So Miniland, come have a conversation with me. You know how to reach out to me. There's plenty of my socials down in the description below. You can find my email address through this YouTube page. Reach out to me, Miniland. I'd love to have a conversation with you on your channel on my channel does not matter at all and he's pretty much just having an open invite let's have an open conversation but anyways guys that is the video hopefully you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think of mini lad and what he said about the vanos crew and hate channels and about this situation what he decided to address in this let me know what you guys think about all that down in the description below
below. Hopefully you guys are having a good time, and I'll see you guys all next time, probably tomorrow night in a stream, talking about this entire thing and the full section of all of this, not just clips here and there. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next time. Peace.